We're going to look at the compare to method of the string class. It's a great method because not only can it compare equality like the equals method, it can also say is one string greater than another or does one string come before another or after another. The definition of the compare to is it compares two strings lexicographically. The comparison is based on the Unicode value of each character in the strings. Unicode is the way that the computer decides an A a is going to be 65 or a B is going to be 66. It just says, okay, this symbol is associated with this number. But the more important word that I want to look at is lexicographically. Lexicographic ordering is pretty much dictionary ordering. If you want to think about how words are going to be organized, they're going to be organized as they would be inside of a dictionary. So if the first word is less than the second word, you're going to get a negative number. And word one would come before word two in the dictionary, like ape versus zebra. The second one is, well, what if word one is greater than word two, kind of like zebra is greater than ape? You'd get a positive number, and word one would come after word two. Finally, if they're exactly the same, they have all the same letters, you're going to get a zero, and word one is going to be equivalent to word two. Let's look at this a little bit more in depth. If we have the word ape and zebra and we say word one dot compare to word two, again, ape is less than zebra, so therefore we're going to get a negative value. And where are we getting 25 from? Well, we're going to look at the first letters. The first letter is A and Z. Z is 25 letters away from A, and A comes 25 letters before Z, so therefore you get a negative 25. Next, let's look, what if word one is greater than word two? Zebra is greater than ape. You get a positive number. Z is 25 letters ahead of A, therefore you get a positive 25. And then finally, if the words are exactly the same, as in ape and ape, you can see that the words are the same, and therefore you get a zero value being returned. You have some special cases that we need to look at. This particular one is the same as dictionary ordering. If you have ape and apple, well, notice that you would get negative 11. Where does that negative 11 come from? A are the same, P are the same, and so what it does is it compares the first two letters that are not the same in the word. And so P is 11 letters after E. So therefore, the first time it can make the comparison, it does, and it gives you a negative value. The next one is cat versus catfish. You can probably guess that cat is going to come before catfish, but what is it going to return? It's going to return a negative 4, and let me tell you why. It compares C, A, and then T, and then it finds out I can't make any more comparisons because the first word is done. So what it does is it says, I'm going to look at the longer word. The longer word is, of course, catfish, and catfish is four letters longer than cat. Once it decides that two words are equal and one word is ended, it says, okay, how much longer is one word than the other? And you can see that catfish is four letters longer than cat. Therefore, we get the negative four. The next special case is ape versus ape. Now, this is different from dictionary ordering because in Unicode and in ASCII, the lowercase a is actually a higher number than the uppercase a. So therefore, we get an interesting value. We get negative 32. The capital A is less than the lowercase a. In Unicode ranges, 65 is a, 66 is b, so on and so forth. But it's not just a and b. It's capital A, capital B, capital C. And then 97 through 122 is lowercase a. So 97 would be lowercase a, 98 would be b, so on and so forth. So you can see that the range of uppercase letters is before the lowercase letters, and therefore you get this negative 32. It's interesting to note that there are actually characters in between the two cases. You notice this is 90 and this is 97, and we'll get to that in just a second, why that is. All right, next we have numbers. Where do numbers compare with letters? Well, let's see. Numbers 0 through 9, which is all the numbers in a base 10 numbering system, are 48 through 57 in the Unicode range. And this puts them before uppercase letters and before lowercase letters. And you can see also 57, 65, there's a whole bunch of symbols in between 57 and 65. But for now, what's important to understand is that if you have a number, it's going to become before any letter. 
And then one more example is ape versus ape. You would think that this would be greater than, but if you can see, I put a space before it. I said space ape versus just a regular ape. And the space character comes before all printable characters. And also the exclamation point, the quote, and the pound sign would become before even numbers. But then after numbers, we have the colon, semicolon, the equals, and some other um, characters. And then after the capital letters, we would have the bracket, caret, and underscore. And then finally, after the lowercase a through lowercase z, you get the um, u with umlaut, the enye, the copyright, and the question mark. Symbols are spread throughout the Unicode ranges. Most of the special characters are after the lowercase letters, but there are some that are interspersed between numbers, capital letters, and lowercase letters. If you can remember the range of numbers, capital letters, and lowercase letters, you'll be doing pretty well. And then you can look at a ASCII chart or Unicode chart to see where all of the special characters line up. So as I said in the beginning, lexicographic ordering is pretty much dictionary ordering. If you have the word ape, it's going to come before zebra, and it's going to give you a negative value. If you have zebra before ape, it's going to give you a positive value. And not only is it going to give you a positive value, it's going to give you a positive value that shows how many letters in front of or behind one word is going to be to another. And then finally, it can compare for equality. If you have the exact same word, it's going to return zero, and the words will be equivalent. The compare to method is a great way to compare string objects to see whether they're greater than, less than, or equal to one another.